Welcome back to Pure Country Reacts, and we're going to do another Dance Moms, and this is going to be Dance Moms 5. And if you were here for the last Dance Moms, there was an ugly, an ugly blowout with Chloe's mom. What was Chloe's mom's name again? Michelle. Christy. Christy. Oh my god. And I've got several comments from people who have watched Dance Moms or maybe know somebody or maybe they've seen all of them. I don't really know. Maybe they've even heard uh, rumors. I'm not sure. But a lot of people have a lot of different things to say about Abby. They say Abby's a bully and I know obviously people like to um, really play it up for the camera and stuff as well. So I mean we're not totally snowed by a lot of what's go what goes on but whether scripted or not the fight in the last episode i thought was so distasteful and um what's uh what's uh what's her face of maddie's mom's name i can't even remember maddie's mom was melissa melissa yeah she was way more graceful than i think i would have ever been honestly i would have punched somebody in the nose or the throat it, it was it was totally ugly I've never seen such. But anyway, um, a lot of you guys uh, had a lot to say about it. We got a lot of views on it. And I'm still working on actually part three. They still got part three locked up. So I'm still messing with that. So it may be behind um, and throw it out of order. And I do apologize, guys. But we're going to go ahead and get back on this train. And uh, we'll see what happens in this next uh, episode. Because I, I have no clue. Me and Lexi found these. And um, we decided, okay, we'll do this. So we are totally unaware. Well, it looks like my kind of place. After the weekend had passed, I really felt like I needed to call out. But why did you do it in front of the kids? Yeah. yeah. I'll be the bigger woman. You shouldn't have done it in front of your child. She will be the bigger woman. She stood, and I'm sort of kind of, I'm, I'm, I'm. I think, okay, number one, it, I think it's very paramount here that it shouldn't happen in front of kids. And, yes, she wanted to go out in the hall and discuss this. But the thing to me was there's really nothing to discuss. Regardless if Maddie is her favorite, Maddie took two classes. So, she got a dance um, solo. And then she got a solo for whatever. the Yeah, I said the tap. But then there was whatever this other group is called. I'm not really oh, sure. lyrical. And then there were there was probably a group dance as well, and you know I don't really see it as favoritism as well. Like I say, I can't say for sure. I don't know. I don't know any of these people. I really don't. But from looking outside into this, I don't really think that she was saying, "Hey, Maddie, you're my favorite. I want you to have a tap routine because her mom actually pays for for two different classes." You know. Um, I would be mad if I was Maddie's mom and she was in two classes and maybe she didn't get to do a, a, a tap. I don't know. You know, a lot of you people already know and y'all are already aware of this stuff. So, I mean, hey, set us straight. Let us know because we're flying by the seat of our pants well, on this. It's not really set us straight. The thing is, we haven't watched everything. Mm -mm. So, you can't come on here being ugly because we haven't watched everything. Yeah, don't be ugly about it for sure. Um... I can take criticism with the best of it. Let us know what you know. I mean, uh, we definitely go through. No and, spoilers, otherwise we wouldn't watch Yeah, please, it. no spoilers. We don't want no spoilers. But we definitely, you know, I, we read all our comments, and I try to um, respond to all of them because we don't get a butt ton of comments. So it's very easy for me to respond to those. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you heard. I mean, which is totally, totally cool. Um, but uh, I, I really thought that um, Chloe's mom was so up ugly uh regardless of if it was scripted or what it was uh i just thought it was really really ugly uh and don't put the girls in the middle of it they're kids for goodness sakes okay yes i mean i came here to try to make amends with you i cannot let you on my property without this being signed you need to sign this i need to go back to work abby i was out of line the way i behaved in that yeah room, you were I'm willing to and apologize for that. I don't feel that where my feelings were coming from were wrong based on things that have happened to me and Chloe for the last year, two years, three years. If you weren't happy with the education, you should have left that. I should have left. Mm -hmm. Chloe would not be a national title winner. She would be happy. You're dumb for letting people walk out of your studio left and right. I was trying to be an adult and be a bigger person, and she just wasn't happy. 
Apparently, you were rude. It, it was terrible. The contract Abby gave me has incredible stipulations in it. Things like I'm not to walk into the den. I mean, but really, the- if she's really that upset with the way things go for Chloe, why didn't she pull her out? Why didn't she just went ahead and pulled Chloe out? I mean, it's 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 very easy. She could pull her out and send her to possibly another dance studio somewhere. I don't know if there's another one in the town. If there's one a couple towns over, um, there's not a lot of dance places here in the place where we live, but there are a couple. There's not really that many to choose from. But if she was that unhappy then leave i mean but the fact is is chloe is a great dancer she's a fantastic dancer and she does have titles and i i don't believe it's favoritism i don't think you believe it's favoritism right i we don't see it it may show up later on i have no clue um but we're gonna wait and see let us know what you guys think like i say don't be ugly about it okay because we're new to this the, the, this whole dance mom thing the dressing room but i agree that i'm in the He's wrong it's important that chloe Okay, then then don't complain. You know, do I sell my soul for a crown? Chloe did a great job. There were some other situations. You're yeah. here. I want to see that attitude improve on stage. Yep. Yes. She looked right around at Mama. Mm. I honestly wasn't surprised by the pyramid this week. I knew Abby was going to punish Chloe. Well, yeah, but the, it's, a, it's a package deal. Yeah. Why open your face? If you think that Chloe's going to be punished for it, okay? Why open your face? Why open your pie hole? Okay? And if you've really felt that she wasn't getting enough training at the studio, why don't you help her train at the house? Yeah, I mean, surely they practice at the house. And if you want her to have a couple different solos, you know what? It's like I think Abby had said in the other... I don't remember if she said it or not. Sign her up for another class. Sign mm-hmm. her up for a tap class. And then that way she can possibly have a solo too. I mean, but you know what? I was not big about opening my mouth to people who had control of Lexi when she was young. I did pick and choose when I said something. And it only had to be said one time. Okay, I did have to go see her first grade teacher because her first grade teacher was very ugly. And she knew I was angry by the time I got up there and she wanted to meet me in the principal's office. So I don't have to rock the boat too much to make you understand. But when you do like they do all the time, your kids are going to pay for it. And it's not fair, okay? I understand. Abby shouldn't hold the child responsible, but she has that that, that power. So I would definitely keep my mouth shut. Well, I think she's doing that shut. in order to, to get Christy in line instead Probably of her so. being so mouthy all the time. I mean, if she knows that her behavior is going to punish Chloe, then she maybe will shut up. Maybe she would. I, and I know, and I don't agree with that tactic at all. These kids have no sway over their parents. So when when she told Chloe, hey, you're down here because some things happened last week, Chloe immediately looked to her big mouth mama, okay? And does people get frustrated with Abby? I am sure they do. I'm not calling that. I just thought it was really ugly and it was done in front of kids and it was in poor taste. But let's move on from it, okay? I hope. After the pyramid, we're sitting upstairs in the viewing room and it's very awkward and uncomfortable. Imagine. But I would not sit in the same room with her I w- ever I wouldn't, again. I wouldn't be able to, but no. the thing is, is it's almost, it, I think, according to Abby, it's required at least for them to watch their daughter. Right, and I would totally watch my daughter. I would watch my daughter from a different door or something. Mm-hmm. I would I, I would not be able to sit in the same room with someone who acted like that. Seriously, and I don't, I've never been a person that would resort to actually physical violence, but I can tell you if somebody upset my daughter that badly in that kind kind of a manner i probably would have reacted like what i am a redneck i would have reacted like a redneck i keep myself in check but i would have reacted really really badly so but you know i wouldn't sit in the same room with her she owes all those kids an apology on top of the other moms because that was just so embarrassing and, and so distasteful I mean, they all were excited. They mm-hmm. had some titles. They had fun. Even Chloe and Maddie placed, mm-hmm. and that she was, had to ruin it. That was absolutely the biggest spectacle I think I've seen thus far on Dance Moms. But if there's more spectacles, I'm going to be here for them. <laughs> all right. Talk about Christy. I think that she's a beast. She is extremely. 
extremely jealous. Okay, that is. Of I will agree with you. And yes. Alyssa was definitely a victim at that point. I agree. I have had some time to reflect, and I just wanted to apologize to you, Greg, and Holly as well. It just wasn't my finest moment as a an adult, as a person, or as a parent. You know, I, I hope that you all can move past this. I think you can hold it against me. I made a mistake. As far as the fight goes with Abby and Christy, I'm neutral. I see things Christy agrees with, and same with Abby. I mean, I can so understand. I, I mean, as a mother, but same time, just don't do it for the kids. Me too. That was just awful. I don't even want to talk about it. I just want to put it behind us. The thing with Melissa, and she didn't have to apologize. She doesn't like mm-hmm. confrontation. So when you finally confront her, you know, oh no, everything's fine. Let's move on. Everything's okay, but she great. didn't confront so you, you confront or you didn't confront her. You, you apologize. She was apologized for her behavior. So right. But she didn't really have to say anything. I absolutely think Abby. Oh my God! You, you know literally what? upset your daughter and one. all of their daughters. Yeah, and then and this so she's she's absolutely apologizing here, and then on her interview she's like, "And they owe me an apology." Literally, you ruined everyone's once, good mood after their achievements. Once Maddie's mom owe you an apology, she reacted with the same vitriol that you were dishing out. And usually, when it comes to dance classes, you. If you're on a team like that, you usually get a solo per dance class you take. Mm-hmm. So since Maddie had two classes, she got two dances. Well, and that's she, just common sense. And she just can't get that, obviously, um, through her head, even though her daughter is, is very decorated and is a very, very good dancer. She's very talented, but and, and, and in my, in my thing is, from what I've watched, just... just from, well, a little bit, yeah. Well, a little bit I've seen. Chloe lacks confidence. And I can see why. Mm-hmm. Because her mom has no confidence in her. It's all about Maddie, 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 Maddie. Well, the thing yep. is, is you need to be encouraging your daughter instead of saying, well, you're always going to be second to Maddie. Yeah. Then she's not going to have that confidence that she can one day be number one. Right. You know, you keep it over her head, she's not going to be good enough. Just don't focus on... I mean, you can tell how timidly she speaks she has no confidence. Right. But she should not, definitely not focus on anybody else. She should just focus focus on building Chloe up. Exactly. It's, instead of the competition, build up your daughter. She doesn't need to be in a hostile environment thinking negatively of every single person in the room. I mean, right. yeah, you, it's a competition, but don't teach her animosity towards your competitors. You need right. to have friendly competition so you can be happy for your competitors or you can be happy when you And usually they win. are, yeah, too. They're exactly. very happy for each other when they win. So. That, that bad attitude is just going to be taught really fast. He's a great photographer. Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, pretty. Love. Delete. Delete. Oh, no. Where's Holly? Hello. What I happened? will not be at the showcase this weekend. Kathy may not be happy about it, but I'm graduating, and she's done one. Oh. Okay. Holly, did she be going to college? To yes. Number, okay, because you are like the best at the walk. Holly is not dedicated to dance. Just tell and her you I are graduating. Way, that is more dances. important. How are we supposed to go on if she's not here? Do you guys realize we're Well, then everybody right? else can just keep dancing. They sure can. Hi. I'm so excited that of course, Kathy his name would be Caesar. Um, he must have yeah. a lot of like hair gel or hairspray to have his hair stand up like that. It's definitely some gel. I work for Telsey and Company. That's so perfect. This is like perfect. She looks just like her mother. Oh, she big wide. Oh, my Everything gosh. You know, when I was a nervous wreck when it came to school project, I wanted to go first. And get it so over with. get it over with. Exactly. Stop Chloe, it's okay, honey. You are the reason she's crying. Exactly. Abby got mad at the girls for the reading comprehension, but she always says, dance needs to come before school. So I kept saying, our girls don't even go to school. They 
miss school all the time for dance. Because Hello, you yeah. want to sing? You're going to sing, honey. But honey, why? Are you going to sing? Okay. Sit, go in the car. Get the keys, sit in the car. Put your why we're here to sing. I spend all this money for you to sing every week. So she's not good with her kids at all. She really isn't. I mean, she doesn't want to sing. Well, it, doesn't she have any other talent? I do think, and that's terrible to say, I don't see her behind the cameras, but whenever they go to get some comfort from their mother, she immediately shuts them down, and I... And she's rude. I mean, that's, I don't think, I don't really know how to say it, but if, if, if you have to take two minutes to comfort and reassure your child... Then you do that. You don't say, I, you know, I'm not dealing with this. Come out here. Die. There's no crying. They're not boys. They are still girls, and they have tons of emotions. And, you know, and, and I think she just doesn't handle it very well. She might be a sweet person, but I think that she, oh, no, times, when, her, when her girls get upset or nervous, she's nasty. Yeah, she is. She doesn't She doesn't go for, like, the comfort and stuff, and I don't, I don't get it. Um, I never was like that. I mean, I'm not talking about coddling. Two minutes to to hug and reassure. Talk. Two minutes. I mean, seriously, that's nothing. I mean, come on. I don't think that Melissa is at my level of style, but she's the only one that volunteered to go shopping for me today. We have um, costumes for okay. this recital that we're in. So this is nice because it's going to camouflage everybody's hips, you know, especially Christy because she's got a big butt. And, um, <laughs> Cute. Yeah, we should hear how she talks yeah. about that you. That looks like me. That looks totally looks really like you. Cute. I am the handbag queen. I need to stay in here and look around. I really do. Because I have my door have... right oh. Oh. Look at that. I don't hear about the rehearsal right now. I'd rather buy handbags. I'd rather buy handbags. I would say she doesn't care about the rehearsal, yet she was giving Holly a hard time. Holly about it. Yeah. yeah. That's a, I she's a hypocrite. People. I think it's Holly I had something really big happening in her life. Yeah, you, you she's getting her doctorate. Mm. Remember, we have an agent in the audience. So, you think we're fabulous? Then, and then somebody coming. We knew that the focus was going to be on Maddie. Oh, and Lord have mercy. He didn't have favoritism with her. Else. He didn't so know who good. Maddie was. No. So good. Well, stop, stop victimizing both of you. She needs to know that that's something that happens. She's not a brat. Christy is jealous of my eight-year-old daughter, and I think it's totally ridiculous. It's because my kid is the star. She is the most talented girl there, and Abby knows that she has a future. I don't know how much longer I can put up with Abby. The whole Broadway casting agent thing was... Abby didn't do anything. We all know why this guy came in, and it was for her precious little Maddie and no one else. I might have agreed to play by Abby's dumb little rules, but no more. I'm not keeping my mouth shut, and it's on. Thank you. Thank you. It was nice to meet you. Thank you. Nice to meet you, Daddy. I'm thinking to myself um, that um, she plays victim so much, and she's not even a victim. What's her, what was her mom's name again? Christy. Christy. I, if, if, and this is my opinion, if Abby had that much sway over a person coming from New York to see her dancers, and she could call him up, dial him up, and say, hey, I want you to come see one of my dancers. I don't, I, I don't see that because the thing is that she's always said that she are, is trying to mold these these girls into the professionals that they can be and that they can be successful later on you know so i don't see him coming to see them just for maddie because if he wanted to see maddie he could just said i just need to see maddie mm -hmm. he could just said i want to see her 
So I don't think that's really fair. And for her to even say, oh, I'm not keeping my mouth shut anymore. Girl, you hadn't kept your mouth shut at all. Okay. Um, you know, really. This I would, was like the only episode. thing is, is on the sidelines, you were complaining. Yeah, and she doesn't. And as ugly as she got one time before, I'm... I'm yeah, she hasn't been keeping her mouth shut about anything. And, and uh, I don't... I don't know what else that she could possibly say unless she just wants to flat out just attack a child. I don't know. But, yeah, you see she has her daughter, poor Chloe, right beside her. And she's going, yeah, yeah, it's Maddie, Maddie, Maddie. She's actually planted that seed in Chloe. And it just grows. And um, that's not fair to Chloe. It's going to give her an inferiority complex. Yeah, and it's not really fair to Chloe because Chloe is very talented as well okay she's won things over maddie before from what i've read i don't i don't get it uh, i think um i think really that, that that they just need to go to a different dance place and then she will probably play victim there as well so i don't i don't get it i i don't i don't get that i understand wanting to protect your children and everything but her daughter is probably one of the top dancers there in that group so I, I i just i don't get it but anyway um we hope you enjoyed this episode please make sure you go and check out our other videos uh lexi and myself are actually going to do um two of our own youtube channels where we're going to do i'm going to try to move the games from this channel um to hers uh any of her things where she analyzes videos or um, people I'm going to move those to her channel and we're just going to keep this channel for reactions so you're going to have to look for we'll Lexi's. Link them, we'll link those in this description. Right we'll link them right now we're having to make some changes she was wanting to do a vlog but we're going to change the name or she's going to change the name and I'm going to start up one where I can do more games because I'm more I like to do the games and y'all may not like it because I'm an old fuddy duddy but I, that's what I want to do games don't seem to do so well over here um it's more people like the reactions so that's going to be a change that's coming up um so and then also i have big opinions about some things and i'm not putting my opinions on this channel because this is to be a fun channel um uh, and i don't want to put no heavy stuff on it so anyway be looking for those and we get those set up we will start linking those in our description and stuff but anyway um have a good weekend thanks for watching if you're new here please subscribe don't forget the thumbs up and everybody will see you in the next video peace